Hi, my name is Ewan and I'm your head of sport for Forge TV. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a recipe from Mob Kitchen for our MH Chef series called Lamb Chimichurri Burger. So for the recipe you'll need red chilies, tomatoes, garlic cloves, lamb mints, rocket lettuce, fresh coriander, red onion, red wine vinegar preferably, salt, oregano, ground cumin, buns and olive oil. So first step is to add lamb mint to a bowl to combine with the other ingredients. So that is one teaspoon of oregano, and two tablespoons of ground cumin. So with the onion, we've already cut it in half, but basically we want to split half of it into the burger mix and half of it into a chimichurri sauce. So I'll peel back the skin, and then you make small incisions along the onion, two cuts along the middle, two, and then cut. Nice small parts of red onion size. So I'm gonna chuck these then into the burger mix. Next up, you're gonna to need to grab two garlic cloves. Just peel two back. I'll get big size ones. And the way I like to do it is chop off the butt. Peel it away with skin. And then, obviously, once you've got this all the skin removed, just start chopping it in nice and thinly. So that's one clove done. Because this recipe likes a garlicky burger. Also, second clove as well. Once it's been finely chopped, you can add the rest to the burger mix. For quick, add some salt. You want to make sure you don't undersalt it. But obviously it's to your taste. So now is a fun time. We get to mix up the burger meat. Um, if you were a bit uncomfortable with handling raw meat like this, you can obviously use gloves, but I body wash my hands, so should be alright, so time to get our hands dirty. You want to make sure that all the garlic, the cumin, the oregano and the salt and the onions all mix nicely together. So now this should make about four equal uh, sized burgers, so I'm going to split it into four. Obviously I can adapt it if needs be, but I think that should be about the right size. And then I'm just going to handle them into probably just about the size of your hand. So if you're going to cup it around, that's probably around the right size, I think. Because obviously the boobs will then expand it hand. Now that these are measured out, it is chimichurri time. Now with the um, rest of the chopped onion from earlier, I'm now going to add a red chilli as well as um, some fresh coriander. So with the chilli, I just cut off the stem, like so, out a pot. So for the chilli, get rid of the pith, so that's not a great tasting, I don't think, personally anyway. Try to keep as much of the skin intact. And now just finely chop it. And then when it's finely chopped, you can add it all to the onion pot. So now, for the main part of chimichurri sauce is the fresh coriander. 
and try not to do what I did the first time around in buying uh, ground coriander because you will not get a typical green green colour of uh, the chimichurri sauce. So just finally mince this now. Add it to the rest of the pot once you think it's mashed up well enough. So to finish with chimichurri sauce, all we need to do now is add olive oil, red wine vinegar, but I have not got that, so I've got more vinegar, but it should be basically the same, and oregano. So it is three tablespoons of olive oil. It's a bit about. Two tablespoons of dried oregano. Finally, the two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And then, you thoroughly combine it. So you just want to make sure that everything is fully incorporated. The onions, the oregano, the coriander, the chilies, and make sure it's all fully incorporated to make a chimichurri sauce. So I've been heating this olive oil for a few minutes now, and I'm just going to add the burgers in. So I'm going to do two at a time. I've not um, been heating it long enough, apparently, but once it starts cooking, it says about the recipe says it should take about five minutes on each side. So when there's some branding on the sides, is when you should probably start turning it. It says about five, six minutes or so. So I'm going to. Put the meat and flip. That's where you like to see nice brown browning on top. Now the other one. Do where it's spitting. Now this should go for another five, six minutes ish. Um, just make sure that when you take it off, that it's not really ready in the middle because you don't want to do it with that with a uh, lamb mint. So. Try to get it as quick as possible. Right, so when they when you think they're ready and they're nicely browned and they look certain middle, you can maybe leave a little poke. So that's a good way to check and stuff. If it still push it, if it pushes in a bit, it's still quite rare. So I think these are ready. So let's go over. So we've got some uh, burger buns set up ready. Underneath is some rocket lettuce, and on top you can put some condiments if you like. So I'm gonna go put straight in with the burger on one bun and the other. So on the other side. Top with our chimichurri sauce. Now as much as a little as you want. So I'm just gonna have a nice pile on top of this burger. A nice pile on top of that burger. It's a little bit temperamental. <laughs> and then to top it off, a nice tomato. And then push down on the burger. And this is a lamb chimichurri burger. So I'll give it a bite, give it a taste. Yeah, the burger's great. Yeah, as you can tell, it's one I recommend heavily. So if you can, give it a go and look at the recipes below.